Hey, welcome back to another video for PHP 2 and our e-commerce app. In the uh, milestone number two that we're working on, I've already shown you uh, how to set up a database and using MySQL Workbench. In the last video, we went through Makaroo, which is able to uh, create fake data and fill our tables. Now we're going to take a look at the structure of how you would set up a project that is more complicated than the previous ones that we've worked on. And so we'll work on the next ones here in the next few videos, but we're focusing on number three right now, which is the folder structure in the end layer design. So before we get into creating our folders, I want to bring you back to this uh, diagram here that is the end layer web application architecture. And so we're going to structure our folders based on the design that we're thinking of in this uh, diagram here. So in the top two sections here, we got the client and presentation. And so we're going to create a folder called views, and that's where we're going to create all of our HTML codes and some of our uh, page controllers and handlers for our forms. Then the second section is going to be our business services. So we're going to create a folder called business services, and inside there we'll have our user business service, and we're going to have our... Uh, a product business service and a few other things and then down at the bottom we're going to have a folder called database and inside there we're going to have our uh, classes that will talk to our database and uh, those are basically the top three main areas that we're going to create here so keep this in mind as we look at our folders okay so now I'm coming over here to Eclipse again and let's take a look at the uh, folders that I've made so you can see a business service folder a database folder. I'm calling this one presentation, which is like the views or the uh, client HTML code. Then uh, I've got another folder called utility, which is just kind of miscellaneous. But these are the main three layers of our app. Let's look inside each of them. Let's start at the bottom first. Let's look in database. So in the database area, I have created three classes. So these came from previous assignments. So this is the class here that allows me to connect to my database. And so you can see the code there. Product database service is the kind that uh, lets me go through and find each item. So I've only got the uh, one element here or one function called uh, find by product name. However, the user data service, I've got a much more developed one. I have created find by first name, find by last name, find by ID, so these are the functions that we did in a previous tutorial, I believe. And so we're going to be using this one here. We're going to be searching for a username by address. And so this one had the uh, kind of a tricky one in it. It had a select statement. If you haven't seen this yet, you better take a look. A select statement that joins two tables. So we're using the users table and the addresses table and then um, putting those two together with a join statement. So we'll be seeing that in a minute. So I am structuring my database work all in one folder. Then the next layer is the business services. And so inside of here you can see I have a folder called model which contains a class for every object in my application. Let's take a look at person for example. So person, I've defined a person as a class that has first name, last name, username, role. It is a constructor. And then I've created all the getters and setters. And so this is kind of standard code for every object. So product has the same ideas. So it's got uh, description, price, and name. So uh, further along the line, we're going to create order and um, notes on orders. but. For, uh, at this per point of view, we're only going to be using a, a person and product likely in our searches. Then the uh, business services are coming next. So let's say uh, user business service. If I open that, these uh, methods here pretty much match the database service below it. So you can take a peek there and see how I designed that. So I'm using the database service and I am creating a... Um, now a function called find by first name, returning a person's list. Okay, let's take a look at the presentation layer now. So in my presentation layer, I have uh, handlers and views. Let's start with views. So inside the views folder, I have my login screen. I think we created that earlier. 
Uh, we have a login failed, a login handler, and a login success. And so all of these things are using uh, previously done tutorials. Here's kind of a tricky thing though. As soon as you get into folders, you're going to have to use relative path names. So if I want to include the auto loader in my uh, function here, you notice I have a double dot, double dot with slashes. That means go up one folder, go up another folder, and you'll find this file. So if you look at where this goes from, inside of login is this file. If you go up to views, that's one level up. Presentations, another view. And then finally, in that next level up is auto loader. So uh, getting these things right will uh, be important. You won't get errors. Okay, in my index file, let's go out to there. In my index file is what I created here that has a search form. So I have created a person search handler PHP file, and that is sitting inside of here. It's in the presentation layer and handlers. So if you look down here, person search handler is the file that is supposed to respond to this input. If you come back here and you look at the index file, you can see that this form, this first one, says search for person. So that's the file we're looking at right now. This is the HTML file. So the person search handler is the one that will respond to this uh, click here, this submit button. So let's go search for person search handler and see what it does. Okay, so first of all, I set it up to create some error checking and then the relative path to the autoloader file. And then finally we do a search phrase. We get it, we go and use our business service find it, and then we're going to display it using this thing called uh, display people search results. So, And so while we're here, let's take a look at uh, what this thing looks like. Display uh, people results. And let's see, I've done some CSS work. I've created a table. And then a bunch of table headers. And then the results from persons. So you can see I've got myself uh, their address as well as their name. And so this is a partial include file. And that's why it has the funny underscore character at the beginning of the file name. So we'll take a look at the code there. And you can see how I'm displaying the uh, person data as it comes back from the database. So the important thing is, is to see that my folders are matching my layers in my uh, design. So I've got my database folder, I've got my business service folder, and the presentation at the top. And so those are the uh, main uh, points of this video here. Okay, so that kind of shows you a quick overview of the folder structure. So in the next few videos, we're going to look in more details at the models and databases and business services.